What is going on, YouTube people? New York Cards and Comics here. Day three? Day three. Yeah. Day three at the National. Uh, first thing in the morning. It's officially day three, Saturday morning. Well, day four of the show, but day three recap. The voice is starting to go a little bit after a long day of chit chat, which is all good. So we'll see how she holds up today. Uh, I got the little desktop camera on, got a little grade reveal to do for you all from my CGC submission. Um, I feel fairly confident in saying that this national is probably going to shatter the attendance record. Um, thir Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, every day has been way, way busier than the previous national in Chicago, which was one of the bigger ones, and definitely way busier than last year in AC. So I feel fairly confident in saying that it, when this thing is all said and done, it's going to break whatever records were out there, which I believe was Anaheim in 91 or 81 or something. The show floor, listen, Rosemont, you guys crush it as a host location. The convention center itself, I will give Atlantic City a shout out. The Atlantic City Convention Center is a better space. Just if you're just talking strictly the building. Rosemont, it's just very dark, low ceilings in some sections, and the air conditioning is very hit or miss. Now, it was very hot outside yesterday. Today is supposed to be a little bit more cooler, a little bit more nicer. So we'll kind of see how that goes today in the 70s today, I think. But some sections of the building are fine. Certain smaller areas, other, other little spots, air conditioning works. Struggles to keep up a little bit, but takes the edge off. Other areas, there's just basically like no AC or it feels like there's no air conditioning and it is very hot. Uh, you get a lot of people in there and who boy. So, uh, trade nights last night, I was planning on attending the Lowe's. Uh, I had a, a dinner thing to go to right after the show, did that, and then went to the Lowe's to hook up with Filmington and his crew. Trade night was going on when we got there. I went in the bar to socialize for a little bit, had my cards with me. And then around 9 30, 10 o'clock, probably around 10 o'clock, 10 30, maybe. Uh, they booted everybody out in a pretty aggressive manner from the way it was described uh, to me. So, and it was funny, they booted them all out right as a massive thunderstorm hit. So, they basically tossed everybody out in the middle of a absolutely massive storm that rolled through. Uh, the wait for Ubers, I guess, was extremely long. We just hung out in the bar, which was what the plan was anyway. I ass assume life found a way and a trade night popped up somewhere else. I don't know where. If you do know where, drop it in the comments down below because I would like to get into the weeds of a trade night tonight. I still really haven't yet other than card collector twos. So we'll see. Maybe it reformulates back over there. Maybe it's another hotel. I don't really know, but it, it seems like it was it was organized, not organized, mass chaos uh, when they booted everybody out of there last night. So we'll, we'll kind of see how that filters out. Uh, Show-wise, I made, I'll get into the specifics when I get back at, back home, uh, two really nice pickups that I was not expecting uh, to, to, to get here. Uh, shout out to one of my viewers, you know who you are, who tipped me off. Uh, he DM'd me and said, hey, did you see this table? And I was like, no, I hadn't. And it, like, the, it was exactly the stuff that I was looking for. Uh, so ran over there, knocked a pretty big Star Wars Stellar Auto off the checklist. Uh, and then picked up a little bonus one on the side that was lower on the checklist, but one that I eventually wanted. Uh, but knocked a pretty decent sized one off the list. Uh, so I was excited to get that. That was the only two cards that I bought yesterday. Uh, pricing continues to be the same thing. I don't really know to throw fuel on the fire. Some dealers, yeah, they're way overpriced. Some dealers are pretty fair. It's, I, I get the narrative of, oh, everyone's three times comps or whatever. Not everybody is, but are some people? Yes. Are some people willing to work with you around current market prices? Yes. It's just a matter of, 
sifting through uh, the nonsense to get into the, the people that are priced correctly. It is what it is. It's That's the nature of every single show that you go to, whether it's the national or not. Is vintage stuff overpriced? Yeah, it, it appeared to be. I don't know that market super, super well, but the people that I, I do know have been saying, yeah, vintage dealers are pretty high. That, guess what? That's pretty standard for the national for vintage to be overpriced. Uh, I did have a grading order pop. My CGC order popped yesterday, so I dropped those off Wednesday, basically right as the show opened, and they popped up yesterday afternoon, so like a, a little over a day, day and a half to get those back. And I posted them on IG, so you may have seen them already, but this was the LED La Cruz Tops Chrome, and as I have said, or Tops Now, Tops Now tend to be extremely high print quality. So, Get a little pristine tent. And this is my first time holding the new uh, CGC slab in hand. Or not new slab, but new label. Uh, the pristine labels, I'm a little hit or miss on them. I like some stuff on them. The little hard as I drop stuff. A little hard to show here because of the camera angle. But you can see the pristine tent logo has like a little gold embossing on it. Kind of pops up a little bit. I just don't know if I like the way it's squared off, but... So there's the Ellie Stealing Home Pristine 10. Here is another one in a Pristine 10. Another one in a Pristine 10. And then the Ellie hitting for the cycle. It's gonna be a little trick here. Pristine 10. And last but not least, guess what? Ellie hitting for the cycle in a pristine set. So, can't complain there. Now, how will they sell? I don't know. I actually put two up on eBay, one of each, just to see what happened. Uh, not, no bites so far, but they've only been up for a night. Uh, this one has PSA 10 comps at around 150 or 170, somewhere in there, 120, 130, I don't know, in the mid hundreds. Uh, a couple of them have sold already. So I put this one above that because it's a pristine 10. We'll see what happens, what offers roll in. Um, if anyone's interested in one, feel free to let me know. The Stealing Home, I have no idea what that would go for either. If this one is going for, say, 150 in a PSA 10, I feel like the one of him Stealing Home, at least initially out of the gate, will sell for more than that. Now where they settle in at after a while, I don't really know. Um... Once again, got to meet a lot of people. Some people hooked me up with some cool free stuff, some Indians cards, some PC stuff. So as always, you know who you are. Shout out to you. Uh, did a lot of social stuff last night, which was, like I said, you know, part of the goal of coming here. Hung out with old friends and new and, you know, had an absolutely great time. The uh, dinner thing that I went to was really cool. Uh, I got to meet the sports card nonsense guys uh, in person. Chatted with Jesse very briefly and chatted with Gio for just a couple minutes. Uh, they seem like pretty normal people in person. The um, Today, I, I don't really know. Honestly, I, I don't have a great plan. I mean, I really haven't had a plan much of the week. Um, there's one deal that I will probably do with Flipping Steve. Uh, he picked something up at trade night that I am very interested in, so I'll probably snag that off of him. Uh, once again, the same in terms of names, like I said before, the usual suspects are hot. Otani, the football quarterbacks. Not much buzz around basketball, at least from what I continue to see. And the show floor is just so, so busy. Oh, uh, Tops Redemption Packs. Let me update you on that. Uh, I did sell mine. Uh, so I had the six packs, eight packs, eight packs. I sold those for 600 bucks, so 75 a pop. Uh, I'll do an update, or I'll, I'll do a whole video. I'm going to do a video series on the Topps Chrome thing. Uh, I've ripped four of my boxes of Topps Chrome already, uh, so I have four left to go. Nothing monstrous, but it does feel like a good rip. Uh, the way I understand it, the outside world Topps Chrome hobby boxes and jumbo boxes have been jumping up in price on the regular. Uh, they are very, if not nearly impossible, to find on the show floor. 
Uh, I think the bigger dealers like Blowout, David Adams, etc. have been like next day airing things into the show because they keep running out. The line for Topps Rapper Redemptions was extremely long yesterday, but I guess, I, I don't know where it cut off at, but they did hand out packs for a while. And if you're doing that and you're listening to this, you should already be in line by the time this gets up and goes live. The line is long and people, yesterday, people lined up. So I get early access to the show floor with a media pass. Um, I get on the same, the earliest you could possibly get on the show floor is 8.30 a.m. Uh, I got on the show floor about 8.45. I walked back past the Topps booth just for like curiosity's sake. And there were already people in line. They don't start handing out packs until 10.30 or 11 o'clock. So they were basically waiting in line for two hours. Now, a lot of people were like, oh, you're crazy. Why are you wasting your show there? But when they're selling for $75 a pack, depending on how many boxes you bought, like I'll use me for an example. I waited in line for about an hour and a half. Okay. I got eight packs. That was $600 for an hour and a half waiting in line. Last I checked, that's a pretty decent rate. Uh, and a lot of people, if you're just looking to rip cheap, you could buy Series 2 Hobby Boxes for $85 bucks and sell the pack for $75. So now you're ripping a box of Series 2 for $10. Bucks. I get it. I get it. Uh, so I'm not going to hate on anyone for waiting in line. That being said, I feel like there is a better system they can do for that. Uh, we'll talk about grading companies in a separate video. I've been trying to keep an eye on like lines and all that kind of situation. Uh, and how busy they have been and kind of how each one is handled on-site grading and stuff like that. But like I said, I'll probably recap that and stuff, something separate once I get home. So that's it. I got to get this recorded, edited, and uploaded. I'm running a late today and mosey my butt on over to the show floor. Uh, if you're at the show, once again, feel free to stop by and say hello. I had some absolutely fantastic interactions with a bunch of different people on the show floor at Filmington's thing last night. Uh, once again, you guys know who you are that swung by and said hello, little fist bumps, passing in the night, all that stuff. Uh, thank you guys very, very much. Appreciate it greatly. We will catch you guys and girls on the next one. Peace.